Our town, our TV. Amherst City Cable. I'm Jennifer Vasilk and welcome to the Community Voice. Tonight, my special guest tonight is our own station manager here at Amherst City Cable, Greg Haney. Welcome to the show, Greg. It's weird being on this side of things. I'm normally back there doing all this, but thank you for having me. Well, you're very welcome. You know, what's even more unusual or weird is that probably the people that are watching this are not watching it on their TV. They're actually watching this on YouTube. Right, exactly. We, uh, we started a new YouTube channel, which is where we put all of our programming now, and it has been a smash hit, to say the least. It's been more successful than I could have imagined. We moved everything over to YouTube, and we've gotten more response, I think, in the three or four months since we've started the YouTube channel than we did probably in the year combined on the programming. So people are really, really taking to it. But it's, it's the way things are now in media and television. It's just the route to go. Everybody is, want, they want programming that they can watch on their own schedule, on their own time, when they want to, and we've kind of provided that now. What do you mean you've gotten more response? Is that like hits on YouTube or people actually contacting the station? People contacting the station, YouTube really? viewers. Yeah, and the nice thing about YouTube is I can keep track of who's watching what. Uh, the city council meetings are very popular. Uh, our sports show gets a lot of views. It's just, it's really neat to kind of finally have an idea of how many people are actually watching the station because before this, we really had no clue. We now, would get a, an occasional email here and there. Maybe someone would run into us when we were doing a football game, basketball game, whatever, and go, hey, I like what you do. But that was about it. Now we get a lot of response, and it's great. Well, now, can you still watch it on your TV? Sure. And cable? Well, yeah, but. I hate to bite the hand that feeds me like this, but Time Warner Cable, in their infinite wisdom, has made it more difficult. It used to be that any basic cable package, you could watch our channel and the school's channel and the government channel, Right. period. Now you have to have a digital cable box and all this other stuff before you can watch. And when that happened, we thought, well, this is ridiculous. I don't know how many people are going to go out of their way to get a cable box just to watch us. So that's why we decided to go with the YouTube channel. But... You can still watch it on Channel 98. It's still there, but it's not in HD like it is on the Internet and all the other stuff. So it's still there, but I have found that the majority of the viewers watch us on the Internet, which is great. Well, besides being on YouTube, I and mean, we have a whole bunch of new equipment here, yep. what else has changed? Well, we did a complete overhaul of the control room where we replaced pretty much everything that was back there because it had just gotten to the point where it was so out of date and so obsolete that it just had to be done. And what we did is we replaced everything for $45,000. Now that sounds like a lot of money until you think of it in terms of TV equipment where even five years ago, that same job that we did for 45,000 would have probably cost us 250 to 500. 10 years ago, maybe 15, 20 years ago, it's a million dollars plus. So we, we, got, we timed it right, everything is so compact now that you can do an entire control room in a TV station for that little bit of money. But we did that, which gives us the ability to record everything in HD and in standard definition. Everything that we do, we haven't gotten to this point yet. We're still kind of working our way towards it. But eventually, like what we're recording right now, we'll be uploading to YouTube as we're recording it so that once we're done, it'll be there. So it'll be kind of like almost live? Almost. It'll be literally as it's happening. Now, you won't be able to watch it until it's done, uploaded, and processed. But... Theoretically, we can take a show like we're doing right now, once we get to this point, we're not quite there yet. It's capable of it, we just haven't started doing it yet. But once you do that, as soon as the show's done, the YouTube video starts processing and bang, it's there 15, 20 minutes later. Wow, so if people wanted to watch like the city council meetings or right. something, because they want to know what's going on with hot legislation like we've had this past year on council. Like the chicken stuff. Yeah, well, right. Uh, that would be a good example. They could look at it that night to find right. out what was exactly. going on. Right now, there's still a bit of a turnaround because, uh -huh. like, we'll tape this, and then I have to take it and edit it and put it together and upload it. But we're hoping that with the start of football season, which is in about three weeks, I think, we'll be to the point where everything will just automatically go up as we do it. So it's not quite live, but it'll be the fastest turnaround we've ever had with programming. It's quicker. In some aspects, it's already quicker now because we don't have to go from tape back to computer back to tape. It's just all electronically, digitally done now. 
But eventually that's where we'll be, where everything will be right there immediately. Now, I thought the city council meetings were actually live. They are live on Channel 12. Okay. They are live on Channel 12 as they happen, right? Yeah, because I, every once in a while, on, on some of the council meetings, there, a call, a phone call would come through. Uh, to the council meetings. Well, you guys should do that. You should take phone calls. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, right. Well, we would have, <laughs> we would get text messages. People would get text messages. As you were doing the meetings. Yes, indeed. Neat. Yes, indeed. So, uh, well, so tell me about future plans. What, what's going to go on? Well, I mean, we, we, we're going to, the emphasis now is more on the internet programming because mm -hmm. especially with stations like ours, a public, public educational government station like we have, we feel that that's the, the better route to go than to try to program an actual channel. Like, we still do all the channel stuff. That's not going anywhere. But the emphasis now is on the YouTube stuff and the Internet because of the immediacy of it and because it, it doesn't mean, like, say, if you want to watch this program, Community Voice, and it's on at 730. Well, you don't have to miss Jeopardy now to watch this. You can go watch it at your leisure. And we just feel that with what we do, because we're not kidding anybody. We're not as popular as Jeopardy. We understand that. So we want to make it so you can watch whenever you want. And it's just, it just opens up a whole new world to us that we had, did not have available before. So we're very happy about that. We've got an uh, ambitious sports schedule coming up. We'll be doing the football games again, basketball, volleyball, right on down the line. And we've got more programming on the way, uh, just lots of great stuff. And we just feel like the future is as bright as it's ever been with this station, with this stuff. And, we're just asking, bear with us, we're still learning how to use all of it, but as we do, things will just get better and better and better. Well, let me ask you, um, you can actually link to YouTube, and maybe you can explain how we do that. Uh, we had a lady uh, from Bobby White a couple weeks right. ago on mm -hmm. the show, uh, has an art program, Wet Your Palette, right. and she was actually able to link her Facebook page mm -hmm. to this YouTube channel. Is that true for all the programs? Yes, you get every, any of the programs? anything that's on YouTube right now, like what, well, like what I did yesterday mm -hmm. or today, actually, the new version of the sports show went up. So it's on YouTube channel and it's also on the Amherst City Cable Facebook page. You just copy the link, paste it into your Facebook page and boom, there it is. But yeah, normally like when Bobby did her show, say a couple years ago, she would have to say, hey, my show is gonna be on at such and such a time on channel 98, tune in and watch. She would tell people through email, Facebook, whatever. Now she can just say, here I am. Here's my show. Here's where I was at. Right here on my Facebook page. You don't have to go to the station's page. You don't have to go to the YouTube channel. There it is. So everything that we do, you'll be able to do that with. With football, you name it, you can link to it to wherever you want to send it, basically. Now, you said people were doing a lot more responding to the uh, YouTube now. How, is there a uh, an email address that people can click on at that uh, when they go to they, look at the YouTube? You can click on the comments section on the YouTube page oh. and on Facebook. But if you want to email us, it's very simple. It's info, I-N-F-O, at AmherstCityCable.com. Okay, so if somebody sees this on YouTube and they say, I'd like to be able to be interviewed on the Community Voice, right. all they have to do is send you an email and uh, you get in touch with them and, or, and or, arrange Yeah, or just them. comment on our Facebook page or on the YouTube channel. I monitor that stuff. All day, with, all day long. With, your, with their contact information, mm -hmm, exactly. and then they could come on and they could be interviewed. Right. And uh, then it would be connected to however they wanted to connect it to right. their website. Yeah, that's the, the, with the YouTube. Or Facebook page. Right, exactly. With the YouTube stuff, we're able to now, people can use it, they can promote their programming literally worldwide now, whereas opposed to before, we weren't able to do that because everything was limited to just what was on Channel 98. So now if you've got, you want to show everyone in the world your program, you can link to it. It's just, it just really opens up our programming to an audience that we just weren't capable of reaching before. So if I have a friend in Thailand, which I do, yep. I could just email her this link and mm -hmm. say, hey, Amada, this is, That's it. Simple this as that. is me and you haven't seen me for 50 years and this and is what I Here I am I doing like. a TV yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, exactly. this is what yeah. I look like. It's exactly yeah. how it works. Yeah, it's, it's simple as that. Whereas even a year ago, you would have had to sit, come to me and say, Greg, I need a DVD of the Community Voice with so-and-so. I need to mail it to Thailand. Yeah. Don't have to do that anymore. It's all right there now. Oh, that's And, and to, uh, people that are tech savvy out there, they, they're aware all this stuff's been around forever. We, as a station, are just finally able to do it now, which we weren't before, which is what we were most happy about. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, and, and I just want to, and just really quick, too, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm sucking up to you guys, but without you 
and the city council and the mayor and my boss, Mark Costello, we wouldn't be able to do any of this. The, the, the administration, I've been here going into my 10th year now, and it has been great, easy to work with you guys, give us what we need, what, when we need it, and it's awesome. So thank you for that, for well, giving us the chance to do what we do. Well, you're very welcome, Greg. It's a pleasure working with you. This is Jennifer Vasilk. And you've been watching The Community Voice with my special guest tonight, station manager, Greg Haney. Thank you, and good night. Our town, our TV. Amherst City Cable.